It's no secret that the COVID-19 pandemic has wrecked havoc on everyone's lives and the British royal family were no exception. In a rare interview with Canadian public broadcaster CBC, Princess Anne spoke about the toll that social distancing rules had on her family and others during the pandemic, especially when it came to the loss of social interaction for her father, Prince Philip, who passed away in April 2021 at the age of 99. Anne revealed that the lockdown stole her father's final years and robbed him of the social interactions he so craved. Prince Philip lost many of the people who would have visited him, talked to him and kept him interested. For the older generation, losing those contacts was especially difficult and online interactions don't work for everyone. Anne's words offer a rare glimpse into the royal family's views on the pandemic's restrictions and it's clear that they felt the same isolation and loss that so many others experienced. It's not just Prince Philip who was affected. Princess Anne expressed her sadness at the image of her mother, Queen Elizabeth II, alone in grief at Prince Philip's funeral, adhering to pandemic social distancing rules. She stated that losing these moments to the pandemic was a thievery, and it's a sentiment that many of us can relate to. We've all missed out on significant events with family and friends due to the pandemic's restrictions. But in the midst of their grief, the royal family carried on with their duties and responsibilities. Princess Anne spoke about following her mother's coffin on its journey from Balmoral in Scotland to Buckingham Palace after her death in September 2022. She was deeply moved by the number of people who turned out to pay their respects and the touching way in which they did it. People brought their ponies and horses out, but they not only brought them out, they plaited them and dressed them as well. They brought their tractors out and parked them tidily, and they were all clean. It was an astonishing sight, and it's clear that the royal family's commitment to their duties and responsibilities is unwavering. In the interview, Princess Anne was asked about the future of the British royal family. She gave a resounding no when asked if she was worried about the future, defending the role of the monarchy in modern times. She said that the monarchy provides a degree of long-term stability that is hard to come by in any other way. The monarchy provides an element of focus to the level of service and encourages that in the long term, which is not a short-term thing. The royal family is there for the long term. When asked about the idea of a slimmed-down monarchy, Anne was dismissive. She said that the idea was said in a day when there was a few people around to make it seem like a justifiable comment. She added that the comment to the long term is what the monarchy stands for and she believes there is a genuine benefit from this particular arrangement, the constitutional monarchy. It's clear that the pandemic has affected the royal family in many ways, from the loss of social interactions for Prince Philip to the isolation and grief of the Queen at his funeral. But through it all, the royal family has carried on with their duties and responsibilities, providing a degree of stability and service that is hard to come by in any other way. Princess Anne's interview offers a rare glimpse into the royal's view on the pandemic's restrictions and the future of the monarchy and it's clear that they remain committed to their long-term role in British society.